Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some more Call of Duty World War 2, check out this trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, chances are most of you have checked it out already, it's the official Call of Duty World War 2 private beta trailer, but for those of you who have not seen it, here it is, and if you would like to check it out without any of my commentary, I did upload a separate video today that you guys can go ahead and check out, you'll find a link to it down there in the video description. This video in particular is going to be about Call of Duty World War 2's private beta, and what we can expect because Sledgehammer Games has made a a blog post letting us know everything that is going to be within the Call of Duty World War II private beta. I would like to start things off here by covering the things that we will have access to, but then we will move on over to the things that we will not be having access to. So we will be playing on four total maps within the beta. For traditional game modes like Team Deathmatch, Domination, and Hardpoint, we will be playing on Point the Hawk, the Ardent Forest, and Gibraltar. For the War game mode, we will be playing on Operation Breakout. Keep in mind that War is not your traditional game mode and it requires special maps to be designed specifically for it. There is no word on exactly what all game modes will be available in Call of Duty World War 2's beta. All they said was fan favorites such as Team Deathmatch, Domination, and Hardpoint. A lot of people are pulling for Search and Destroy to be in this beta and I suppose we are going to have to wait and find out whether or not it will actually be there. All five divisions will be playable in the private beta. We will be able to level up, progress, unlock new weapons, new gadgets, new skills, and basically explore the new custom class that will be the divisions system. We will be limited in our progression, however, as Sledgehammer Games has confirmed that we will not have access to full progression within the beta, which was kind of to be expected. We will also not have access to the headquarters social space, despite previously stating that we would have access to the headquarters during the private beta. I find this news to be somewhat troubling, because initially they're like, oh yeah, you're gonna have access to the headquarters, you'll be able to play around in there in the private beta, and then they work with with Game Informer, who has been giving us tons of news and details surrounding the Headquarters feature, and now, out of nowhere, they're like, oh no, Headquarters? That's not going to be in the beta. Like, what? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But regardless, in addition to not having access to the Headquarters, we will also not have access to Supply Drops or Customization within the beta. We will not have access to Esports features in the beta either, though Sledgehammer Games has confirmed that Ranked Play and Game Battles integration will be available when the game does go live in November, which is definitely some very very good news. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much all of the new information that we learned today regarding Call of Duty World War II's private beta, and Sledgehammer Games has announced that they will be hosting a live stream at Gamescom this year on Tuesday, August 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific, where they will be showing off the beta and its features. They also said to stay tuned in the coming days for more details and information, and to that I say, stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I will be covering all of the news and information when it becomes available regarding Call of Duty World War II and Call of Duty in general. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys here in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Call of Duty World War II's private beta down there in the comment section below. And I would like to end off the video with this because people keep asking me about it. We still don't have any information surrounding the PC version of the private beta for Call of Duty World War II. Again, stay tuned. I will update you guys as more information becomes available. Once again, I hope you enjoyed. Drop me a rating and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.